गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन एंड वेलकम टू टाइम आउट विद स्पोर्ट्स अड्डा Morning Arun are you getting the friday feeling today weekend coming up yeah absolutely uh, uh yeah after looking at last night's game I, i'm thinking what happened there i mean it was absolute decimation wasn't it decimation of the highest order and uh, rajasthan must be really really struggling to wake up today and even they must be imagining did it really happen like a 10 wicket loss it's a it's a shattering loss You know, you, you said Rajasthan must be waking up and wondering what. So I, I'm thinking they were listless, Akil, in the second half of the game. Yeah. You know, you you could just look at the faces and say they had no clue whatsoever what happened there. You know, body we language. were thinking, yeah, the body language is there was nothing. There was no energy whatsoever. Yeah, true. I mean, they won the toss also, which was a good thing at one K day. Um, that is always an advantage. Oh, sorry, they lost the toss actually. Uh, Hmm. There was some confusion Virat Kohli opted to chase. Yeah, yeah Virat so, Kohli opted to chase. So I mean, they had they had a they had a decent like even after getting like early wickets down, they managed to get a decent score. One seventy hmm. was was not an exceptional score, but it was a decent score. And hmm. uh, I think they should have done better. At least couple of wickets in the beginning for putting Bangalore down. We saw Deepak Chahar doing it right just a day hmm. before. Hmm. I can't remember one chance, Akil. Do you in Bangalore's chase? I know. I I can't remember a single chance. But but yeah, you're right. Uh, to get as far as 177 was a job decently done. Uh, you know, at the break they spoke to Rahul Tiwatiya and he was saying, uh, you know, the you know if you bowl those change up deliveries, the ball was sticking on the surface. But in in the chase, like I said, no chance whatsoever, and Bangalore just ran away. and two things one or two things that we discussed yesterday and we had expected that to happen did happen shreyas gopal got into the team uh, instead of uh, unad kat he opened mm. the bowling to virat first cup three four balls he just played them and then he came out and showed his intent smashing him over long on that's mm. how a captain shows intent isn't it and, and that's the difference between an experienced and a mature international batsman and some of these kids You know, you could you you knew that Shreyas Gopal is coming in. I mean, at least I for one read it. Now yeah. you've got to question the tactics. You know, if if statisticians and you know analysts like me sitting outside the ground can foresee this, I'm I'm sure you know Virat Kohli, having played so many years, knows that this is coming up. So you know, there are times when captains and coaches and analysts need need to bluff or you know need to double bluff. I didn't see that happening yesterday. But talking about Virat Kohli briefly, that first over, one or two balls you 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 saw he was he was a little tentative, but then man he he dominated uh, Shreyas. Maybe not dominated dominated, but he certainly got the better of him. Absolutely, and I mean in terms of domination, I think his partner at the other end actually mm. uh, did much much better. I mean it's difficult to play that kind of a game when you have a Virat Kohli at one end, I guess. But mm. Patikal is just carrying on from last season. Thank God, uh, he's come back from the illness that he had in the beginning. And this is a dream come true for any franchise, you know, a homegrown local boy from Karnataka uh, coming in as smashing as an opener. I think uh, he's going to do wonders for their social media now. Absolutely, you know, th- this this is one thing that Bangalore's lacked all these years. Yes. What's the one connect between Bangalore, the city, and the franchise? There was nothing. Right, but I'm glad now. Particles come up, and he's kind. He he kind of belongs, you know. If if you watched him bat yesterday, not often does Virat Kohli get overshadowed, does he? You know, but yeah. yesterday was Particle was sublime. You know, he was he was he was batting freely. He he chose his areas, and one or two occasions he pulled out the reverse and the switches, and it was nice to see. Very nice to see. Have you have you interacted with him? Which part of the state is he from? Unfortunately, no, not not so much. I mean, I haven't really umpired any games in Bangalore in the last three four years, so I've not really been, you know, anywhere close to him. But uh, hopefully, in the, in the next year or so, back to umpiring. Fantastic. <laughs> what what about Rajasthan? Like Bangalore got most things right yesterday. Uh, Rajasthan are they seem to be missing their big guns without Stokes and Archer. That extra edge seems to be missing. I some Sanju Samson also we spoke about yesterday started off with a bang 
but again he had a great opportunity yesterday the wicket was very good he could have just batted 14 15 overs and carried his team through like in the end uh, whatever shivam dubey did we could have expected sanju samson to do that isn't it mm. Mm. look what did virat kohli do 177 178 is not a not a simple chase right but you know that's where application comes in that's where temperament comes in you know virat kohli wasn't going hammer and tong you know he, he assessed the condition he knew his partner was doing well so he said i'm taking a back seat today uh, there was a time when padikal was about 80 odd i think and virat kohli was in in the mid 30s you know so that was the mm. difference so virat kohli said it, it's your day today go for it i'm i'm taking a back seat one two the odd occasional boundary happy what did sanju samson do hit a six i think or hit a boundary yeah. and then six. and then you know yeah the pitch played a part in his dismissal but but yeah you know you've got to wisely yesterday wasn't so much a bad stroke as such but but yeah, yeah i mean he could have possibly played a different shot and looked for a single i Very i don't true. see i i don't see too early to say this but just looking at rajasthan looking at sanju samson's body language and looking at their lineup i don't see them coming back honestly it's probably too early but where is the spark where is the one spark that can that can revive their journey yeah and they got a spark right at the beginning with sanju getting that 100 that should have lifted them up but mm. uh, i mean they really seem to be lacking some things and i mean i'm i was looking forward to sangakara getting in with his tactics and trying something of a different but i mean replacing players like archer and stokes is is impossible i guess no no absolutely not we, we talk you know you've got to question some of their selections some of their decision making as well why would you i mean this is like putting all your eggs into one basket isn't it mm. archer england stokes england livingston england now who do they have on their bench now they've got they've got uh, andrew tai i think right yeah yeah uh, Uh, who else do they have? Nobody really. So if they have, if they were to look for for an international player, overseas player, nobody, absolutely nobody. Uh, and then who, who do you have in your playing eleven? Uh, you you've got a David Miller. We spoke about him yesterday. Uh, I I thought he's an underachiever. You might not have agreed, but but what did he do yesterday? Again, nothing, right? So I I don't know. Most of his old Rahman they've got. He's not the same phase he was three four years ago. Yeah, you got to question their selection, their auction strategy again. I, 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 they haven't got it right. You're right. I, at that point, I definitely agree with. Uh, they still have a lot of matches to play. That's the worry, you know. Like losses, like yesterday, those are the mm-hmm. ones that you really need time to shake off. And I, mm-hmm. in the league, there's not enough time to recuperate and mentally come back. So they are playing tomorrow. You know, they've just yeah. lost a big one last night. They're playing tomorrow again. Yeah, the only hope I get is Josh Butler. He's one guy who's experienced and who's seen ups and downs. If he starts firing and gets them through uh, a couple of chases, that's that's one hope that they should have. At least he's opening now. He has twenty overs to bat, so that's that's maybe something that they can look at. That's it. Yeah, yeah, that's a, you. You want that to happen. Having said that, if you watched uh, closely, if you observed Butler's body language yesterday. He was disappointed as well. You yeah. just didn't didn't feel the vibes, you know, the vibes that we are here to compete. Let's give it a fight. I know we got blown away, whatever, but I I didn't see that happening. And and yeah, I mean things can turn around. Things can definitely turn around. We've seen it happen in the league, but yeah, just looking at their their lineup, just looking at their body language, I'm not yeah. too too confident about it. Turn around. Great. Before we go on to today's game, I wanted to ask you. You were at the stadium uh, yesterday. to watch the match right no no i wasn't I, I, but i'm you going are. today you're going yeah. today i we'd love yeah. to know uh, how the experience is of an empty stadium and uh, especially in vanke day because that is something that uh, i've always seen full even for ranji matches we have our regular 500 400 people who used to turn mm. up so i i am going to make a lot of noise watch. they make a lot of noise they you know their cricket uh, they have yeah. simple and simple terms for each of the players uh, local players their friends turn mm. up so i'm yeah. going to ask you tomorrow about how the experience of watching a game uh, at an empty stadium is going to be at one kid okay yeah. fantastic we, we'll we'll talk about tonight's game 
tonight's game absolutely mumbai and punjab uh, it's always it's always uh, i look forward to this game for one primary reason uh, the top t20 batsman for india rahul uh, versus uh, jaspreet bumrah who is like mm-hmm. the real uh, powerhouse for mumbai mumbai and india so i mm-hmm. hope that contest happens i hope bumrah comes and bowls in the initial overs and they mm-hmm. don't they, they don't let mayank and rahul get easy runs in the first three four overs so mm-hmm. do you anticipate uh, that to happen for a second i thought you were going to say i'm go- looking forward to the contest between india's two best white wall batsmen which is kl rahul in the t20 format and rohit sharma across white ball formats but but yeah bumrah v rahul uh contest i i, I really i'm looking forward to they haven't had too many head to head battles in the past but uh, promises to be one exciting one tonight yeah and rahul has been exceptional against uh, mumbai i think he's scored consistently he sco- i mean look at the numbers he i think he loves batting at the vankhede they are not going mm-hmm. to be batting at the vankhede uh, today but mm-hmm. these are numbers which are superb the strike rate is also something except for the first one the otherwise strike rate is also exceptional mm-hmm. you know rahul's that 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 form player that touch player the the only criticism of rahul over the last couple of years has been a strike rate runs mm-hmm. are not going to be a question or yes he he had a failure the other night but runs are not going to be a question at all rahul will get you runs uh I, I, and yeah if he stays there for about 3 4 overs then you know he's going to get a 60 70 maybe even a 100 but mm-hmm. the question is can he survive that initial burst from trent bolt and jaspreet bumrah if they bowl 4 overs of the first 6 it's a contest in the making absolutely and both the uh, both the punjab openers actually even mayank is somebody if he gets some weight or he gets something on his leg from bolt he's not going to hold mm-hmm. back both mm-hmm. of them are just going to i hope they go for it this is the kind of uh, contest that we enjoy watching in in a, in cricket isn't it yeah I, I, and mayank knows only one way to bat i mean yes he's done well. he, he's got the skills and the temperament to adapt to to playing slow but in the ipl i think he's out there to make a point i'm going to yeah. bat and get runs at 140 150 which is what my team needs i think there's an understanding of sorts that mayank you go for it kl will will bat deep so we'll see how that happens but but yeah i'm i'm looking forward to mayank scoring runs especially if the ball comes on and if they bat early go for it got to talk about trent bolt akil i briefly mentioned him you know hmm. trent bolt this is what an international cricketer can do you know look at his his returns this season 1 for 36 against bangalore 2 for 27 against kolkata 3 for 28 against hyderabad no wickets against delhi but went for 23 runs on you know this is what an international cricketer needs to be doing in this league if you yeah. if you've been chosen to play for a franchise in, in the indian t20 league this is what is expected of you either get wickets or runs or if you're a bowler and you're not getting wickets keep the runs down this this is a this is a very nice and important stat you know and if you look at all the four international players at mumbai field they are the ones who have contributed similar kind of numbers most seasons if you see a pollard a bolt a, a quinton de kock now the fourth seamer last time it was patinson who made similar impact in most mm-hmm. matches this year they are rotating that fourth um, foreigner so yeah you are right i mean the foreigner's role is very 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 important because there are only four of them and they are expected mm-hmm. to come and deliver and win matches and mm-hmm. if you see bangalore also that's what is happening this season with maxwell and de villiers contributing uh, mm-hmm. that's the reason teams win and that's exactly the point we spoke about rajasthan previously their foreign players are not really uh, going to contribute the same way that they had expected so this no. is a very very nice stat uh, bolt is always a danger man he's he's somebody really whenever he comes you know there's a wicket going to wicket alert you know what you know what is the most surprising thing akil you know those those numbers don't tell you us those performances were in chennai hmm where spinners have done well isn't where it the ball is stopping there's no seam movement nothing happening for fast bowlers yet trent bolt is is performed like a champion uh, quickly moving on uh, i want to talk about mumbai batsmen you know M- mumbai are two from four right they won two lost two but what's wrong with them they've scored only one half century so far this season I think the pitches have not really favored their uh, their the batsmen that is that are there in their lineup they are all attacking batsmen who like the ball coming on 
and uh, that's not really happened with an hardik with a pollard frankly um, i think hardik has not spent enough time at the wicket uh, maybe they might need to adapt and just spend a little more time at the wicket uh, get in early quinton also has not got off to like great starts uh, where he's usually wins you matches you know with his batting mm. uh, the momentum that he gets but they are a, they are a good team they'll be looking to move out of chennai and go back go to a venue where the pitch helps their batsmen um and going to delhi start... next they going to delhi next oops so not not too much hope there no. <laughs> but you know what, you know this the table we just saw we spoke about uh what it doesn't show you are the names you know kairan pollard hardik pandya ishan kishan yeah. these three had a huge impact last season this season their names are not to be seen on the list yeah that's one thing that they'll really be hoping that there this these three will start uh, in fact ishan kishan did his bit last match which where they got to a fighting total he hung around and he waited till the end we un- dismissed a little uh, unluckily by the leg spinner but uh, at least he's showing the intent to stay out there and not giving his wicket away like some of the other players in the other team so that's why mumbai know their game they will come back i mean they'll adapt to delhi also and uh, let's hope that they find the fire yeah last one before we go k okay. punjab have problems with their batting uh, uh, would you get in a david malan a david malan who's the number one ranked batsman in the world would you get him in i wouldn't get him in i think uh, they still have to back their top 3 they've delivered for them uh, it will be difficult for malan to just come in and score runs i mean he's a he's a top top batsman but uh, coming in against mumbai and on a chennai track is not easy especially he usually bats uh, top two positions right he bats mm, top uh, three. as an opener yeah, opens are number 3 yeah yeah so coming in at number 3 and just having to score runs and expecting uh, him to change the fortunes of the team is going to be difficult i wish they they try a sharuk khan maybe uh, at mm. number 4 uh, swap places with the deepak kunda because he's been striking the ball Uh, we have not spoken much about him because he's not uh, got in the top runs run making charts or something but boy his hitting abilities have really uh, stood out for me this season mm, so yeah. i hope he gets the chance to bat say 10 overs at least and uh, maybe that can be a spark for punjab yeah hopefully hopefully you know punjab will be able to compete better tonight uh, don't have to ask this question do i mumbai or punjab you are you're definitely leaning mumbai that's that's obvious I I would want uh, Mumbai to chase today. That's one thing I would want because chasing has not been so easy in Chennai, and uh, that's one advantage. I hope Rahul wins the toss. They bat first and leaves a difficult task to Mumbai. And uh, let's see if they play two spinners. I I hope Ravi Bishnoi also gets a game. So hmm. between him and Maruga Nashwin, let's see if uh, Rohit and uh, the rest of the Mumbai batting can match up and chase it. So that's what I'm looking for. Hmm. Well, I'm supporting Punjab for tonight, uh, just to make things uh, even here. Well, that's that's it uh, for today, Akil. Thanks for joining me before breakfast. Oh no, breakfast is yes. looking forward to breakfast also now, and looking forward to a bumper Friday evening game. Then I'll see you tomorrow. See you. Thanks, thanks everybody for watching. This is Time Out with Sports Adda.